We've got this bill, which came to us purportedly because voter ID was necessary to prevent fraud. Mm -hmm. So what do we have? We have three pages about voter ID and 53 pages, 53 pages about reducing access and subtracting options, making it harder for people to vote. 53 pages. Early voting decreased even though 10, people, 10 million people used it and 75% of the voters used it and 86% people approve of early voting. Straight party voting eliminated. Same day registration eliminated. Onerous requirements for obtaining an ID for those without driver's licenses or other listed acceptable documents. Eliminating the opportunity of young people to register early. Not accepting university or college IDs. Repealing judicial public campaigns even though 14 appeals court judges ask you to keep it. Repealing your stand by your ad for transparency. Impeding satellite sites. 53 pages when all you said you wanted to do was prevent fraud through voter ID. So why didn't you just stick with the three pages of voter ID instead of making it harder for everybody in North Carolina to vote? Mr. President. Senator McKissick, what purpose do you rise? Speak on the conference report. Senator has the floor. This bill greatly, greatly concerns me and disappoints me. This bill really basically reverses decades of progressive legislation that we've had here in North Carolina that have increased voter participation. I spoke yesterday about the early vote period. It deeply concerns me that we're now decreasing it by a week. I respect the fact that we adopted Senator Klein's, excuse me, Stein's uh, <laughs> amendment, but uh, at the same time, it, it doesn't solve the problem. There are 900,000 people that won't be able to vote during that early vote period. And if we look at the increase from 2008 and 2012, 200,000 additional people were voting. We look at the fact that when it comes to early registration and being able to go there and vote the same day, same day registration, same day registration is completely prohibited. We need to be encouraging people to get out there and vote during that early vote period with same day registration. We look at our students. We get them all active involved in our schools through civic programs and other programs through our PTAs or parent organizations. Get them involved in student voting and we encourage them at 16, 17 years old to go ahead and pre-register. We're stopping that. We want to use that opportunity, use those classrooms as a tool to get them involved in the political process. We need to be encouraging all our high school students to be able to get pre-registered to vote. If we look at the fact that now, once they get out of school, they get student IDs, they can't use them to go out there and vote and prove who they are. That doesn't make any sense to me. We need to make certain that we enhance their ability to, to participate in the political process. There's no straight party ticket voting is being done away with. Right now, I guarantee you that a vast majority of people don't know all the candidates running for public office. They may come out to vote for one or two particular candidates that they identify with, that they support. Maybe a Republican, maybe a Democrat. But what do they do? They identify with one of the parties, and they may vote that straight party line. They don't know all the down-ballot candidates. Now we're stopping them from doing so. That's not a good idea. A lot of people need that additional guidance that can come from that identification with a party. That impacts all of us in North Carolina. And then the voter IDs themselves, an unnecessary tool, an unnecessary obstacle that many people are now going to have to overcome. You can say, yeah, they can go out and get a birth certificate and do it, but now they've got to make two trips and go out there and get that birth certificate. Now they've got to get that voter ID. It's going nothing but suppressing the vote. If we look at this bill in its totality, it's all about suppressing the vote, trying to make certain that those who we may not want to see come out and vote do not have an opportunity to do so. And when I look at it in its totality, and I'd like to think that its design is to somehow enhance integrity in this process, but I'm reminded of the fact 
that North Carolina is really not a red state or a blue state. We're kind of a gray state. And I'm reminded of the fact that Obama won in this state by about 12, 13,000 votes back in 08, and he lost it by about 100,000 votes in 2012. And I'm also reminded by the fact that there are about 318,000 people that do not have IDs that are government issue that may be adversely impacted and not be able to vote. And I look at all of these measures in their totality, I can't help but wonder if the goal is simply to maintain political power for those that are in power today, notwithstanding the fact that we're stepping upon the constitutional rights of people by not enabling and enhancing their ability to participate in this process as opposed to decreasing that opportunity. Mr. Senator President, Tillman, what purpose do you rise? Speak briefly on the bill. Senator has the floor. Senator Stein uh, reminded us that in Georgia, uh, an off-year election, that the, the, the vote was not that much significant. If you're going to compare off-year, Senator, you ought to take off-year prior to off-year before. And the increase was 44% among minorities. 67% increase among uh, Hispanics and 12% among whites. Then if you want to take the next year, which you conveniently forgot, 2012, you mentioned 2010, which was a, a national election, how about checking those results? And then you'll have the whole picture. You gave us a partial picture, which you're good at. But if all the Democrat talking points are the same, we've heard the same thing and not anything different, that we're suppressing votes. Folks, we're trying to guarantee that your vote counts, and I don't think there's anything more important than we can do and make sure that my vote and your vote counts the way it's intended to count. No, sir, Mr. I will President, not yield. Senator Stein, what purpose do you rise? I'd like to see if Senator Tillman will yield to a question. I'm going to yield just like you did, Senator, when mm -hmm. I finish. Senator Tillman has the floor. I'd be happy to wait. Senator Tillman has the floor. We've got a good bill. We've got a bill that ensures integrity of the voting place. It increases voter turnout. In, it increases voter integrity. And you keep bringing up voter ID as, it's, if, it, as if it's going to suppress votes. The fact is, it increases votes in nearly every state that's done it. And I don't know anyone, even minorities, that when they look at this thing and say, yes, I ought to be able to identify myself if I'm going to vote. Even that polls in the positive for minorities. And about 80% of the other voters say we ought to have photo ID. So you've got a lame argument there. Mr. President. Senator Stein, what purpose do you rise? Let's see if Senator Tillman will yield to a question. Senator Tillman, do you yield? I'm going to give you one chance. Well, Senator thank Tillman you. yields. Senator I guess Stein. I'll have to make it a compound question. Senator Tillman, you talked about that this is about integrity of elections. I would like to know how telling people that they no longer have the choice to shorten their time in the ballot box and do straight ticket voting, going to pick, you know, you can go and pick any one race you want opposite any time. It just speeds up the process. How that and how denying high school kids the opportunity to participate in their democracy and pre-register so that when they're 18 they get a card. How do either of those have anything to do with integrity of elections? They all have something to do about uh, reforming the electoral process. And in doing that, the rules are going to be the same for everyone, and we've set, we've set the rules in place. But if we voted for over 200 years on one day, and now we can't vote in a, in, a, in a week, there's something wrong with that. And if you don't think enough about voting until and wait to register till you get there on Election Day, folks, you've not thought very much about the election. And it doesn't mean very much to you to say, oh, I, I, didn't, vote, I didn't register. We normally had, we used to have to wait 30 days. And now you want to crowd everybody in there on election day and, and vote them. And that's where you have all kind of confusion, yes. all kind of provisional ballots that's got to be verified. And that's what leads to confusion and that's what leads to potential fraud. We're going to try to eliminate that. Thank you, Senator Tillman. Let me take care of a couple of housekeeping matters. 